Hey there, it's Farmer Brad and I'm going to give you a garden tour. It's been a while since the last garden update. I wanted to get some things growing in the garden. Um, last time uh, I was building out more of the raised beds. So we have three raised beds. I've added a cattle panel along the back, cattle panel along the front, and I got another raised bed to place over here. I got the green stock in place and I've been really happy with how these have been growing. Uh, we've gotten quite a bit of lettuce and it's fairly easy uh, to weed it. Daddy, is here? Yes. It looks like lettuce. So by having these raised beds it makes it easier uh, to identify what are weeds and what are not. The eventual goal with this garden is that it ends up being two cattle panels wide by one cattle panel deep. We still have some work to do, uh, but I'm building this in stages so that I can get a feel for what I like, and that way I'm not stuck with an entire garden that I don't like. Um, so, got this cattle panel attached here, uh, used some staples, and then I'm going to cut this off and then put uh, another fence piece here to frame that off nicely. Uh, got a red watering can uh, so that the kids can help water and have um, fun in the garden. So by getting the watering can, it allows for the little ones to be involved with the garden by helping to water and uh, participate. And that's really the goal of this garden, is to make it stress-free, easy to grow in, and have it be fun for the kids to help in the garden. And then they can re uh, eat the benefits of the garden. Like, we've, we've already been having salads almost every day, uh, just from this here and there. Now let me show you over here. These uh, pots here will eventually get mounted up here and then we'll be able to put flowers on there so that should look nice and then uh last week or last week and a half we put a row of purple beans here and then this is kind of tilled up and that is for uh going to be for corn and uh various other things um and uh this is pretty much going to be for things that need to have multiple rows next to each other to pollinate properly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, start planting another row of purple beans. I staggered it so that all the purple beans are not ready all at once. What are your thoughts about the garden? Uh, on a scale of one to 10, compared to last year's garden, I think this is 10. It's very, it's a lot better Last year's garden. Yeah, last year's garden was pretty much just cultivating weeds and not really uh, plants. And uh, oh, he's strong! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Help him! And then over here, I have this, uh, which we'll be able to, to hook up the garden hose to and then secure the hose. Um, but this requires eight inch down of concrete. Uh, and I kind of want to get a feel for where this is uh, for the best orientation. Um, because if I plan on extending out uh, another little section, then I would probably want to put that in the corner over there. But eventually, there will be a frost-free hydrant um, that will be in the corner of the garden. Um, I just haven't ran it yet. And then over here is pickling cucumber. Here are four plants of beans. I think that's a pepper. That is um, rosemary. Over here is lettuce. There's lavender another pepper, a jalapeno, 
some onions and some peas right there. Uh, so I'm really happy with how it's doing. And then uh, I have the slits in this fence so that it doesn't block all the sun and so that these beds can get some of that low, low um, sun rays in the evening. Now we're gonna plant a row of uh, purple beans. Now we're going to water this new row and then also water the other row. Okay, so we have that watered. Now uh, I'm going to try to uh, mount these, uh, these hanging baskets onto the fence. Okay, so I have this drill and I will pre-drill this and this top one I'm gonna just line it up at the top of that So I got these two mounted, uh, was not able to find coffee filters, uh, so I found some Christmas napkins, and I'm gonna put these down in the bottom so that we don't lose all of the soil right away, because uh, these are pretty big drain holes. Uh, you do want it to drain, um, that way if it gets too much water or rain, it doesn't kill the plants. Uh, so now, uh, we're gonna fill it up with some potting soil. So we're continuing to use a uh, pro mix and we're gonna fill that up full of the pro mix, trying to avoid getting dirt in the mulch. Try not to step on those points. Okay, well, let's move this out of the way and I'll uh, soak it. So now I'm going to get uh, flower seeds and we're going to put some in there. So we got these uh, flower seeds and we'll go ahead and plant some. So, um, so how many seeds in each stage? We'll just plug a hole and then put a here, hold, hold this. They're pretty small. We'll just put a few in there. 
And then let's go over here. Okay. And then we'll have to make sure to water it since uh, it's not in contact with the ground and these will probably dry out sooner. Hope you've enjoyed part five of the uh, stress-free gardening series. Uh, I'll be putting out more videos. Uh, you can click over here for part four and click over here for part six. Thanks and, and until next time. And remember, now is always a good time to start homesteading. Take care, bye.